This is Rexa. Let's the hunt begin. I will fight with honor. for duty. The hunters are so good for the odd paladin, really. There's very little explosive trap, and then they only have Rexa. Let's find Sun Keeper Tarim and win. Let's win. Oh, oops. <laughs> Not attacking, super terrible play. Oopsie. And that's a big hyena. So, if we continue making guys, we lose to unleash the hounds, right? How afraid are we of that? Mm. Mm. We could play it safe, play the weapon. That should be good enough, right? Speak your peace. Um, I think I want to play this one as well. I really like that one having taunt. This way we should be able to continue the game into either Fungalmancer or Warlord. And then we follow up with the uh, uh, Sunkeeper Terrain. But is it really good enough here? Is it really good enough? Uh, I think we want to go white, so... Are we playing around explosive trap? Yeah, right. Play around it. Then for freezing trap we want to attack with this one first. Now with this, the mushroom killer. Whoa! I draw for him. And snakes. Has to be snakes. Snakes is actually also quite annoying. Man. I fight. Hmm. How can he get multiple card draw cards from that? He definitely kill a snake here. We could trade like this, maybe. I think I like that the most. No, oh, we are a little bit sad against Rexar. But we are still in good shape. We can just hero power Frost... Lord, uh, Frostwolf Warlord. It's okay, right? Oh, he's constantly playing around Sunkeeper Terrium, though. First of all, he needs a Hunter's Mark here. Mm, or no Freezing Trap, though. Or mm, no Poisonous. Meh. Okay, only Hell. Crazy.
Can we afford to play around Freezing Trap? I don't think we really can do that here, so I think I need to attack. Mm, it is Freezing Trap though, that sucks, wow. It's terrible. Um, we need stuff on the board. His value trades need to stop. Wow. Okay, that's over. We cannot beat the him anymore. Oh. Sure. So maybe I should not have attacked into that um, into that explosive trap. That was a huge mistake, right? I threw this game quite hard. Okay, we get a rematch. Ooh, Corridor Creeper is excellent. Early on against him. Especially when we have lost in the jungle. He also had a really good rex zone curve, right? I think my misplays made it really, um, really easy for him. But he also had a good curve. But I should have won the last game. I really should have won it. Also, I, that was also the game where I played into the snipe, right? Wow. I had like three major misplays on that game, I think. I was just like, I beat the hunter anyways. If it is explosive trap, I think I want to trigger it. And wandering monster, I also want to trigger, I feel like. Due to snakes and stuff, because I have the corridor creeper coming. That's just too good here, I think. If I wouldn't have the Corridor Creeper, I would not do this play, I think. But given the Corridor Creeper, I really want to do this. Also, Explosive Trap is so annoying for me, um, that sooner or later I have to trigger it, right? Same probably goes for this trap. Freezing, for sure. Um. Looks like a nice Corridor Creeper and Blessing of my turn here. We have a lot of pressure now. And we have Leroy in hand, so... It's not that easy to kill that for one Divine Shield. Ooh, the wolves. I think face is the place. Only question is if the corridor creeper also. What can he do? Yeah, the corridor creeper also hits face because we have Leroy. Nice rogue is a very good matchup. I will fight with honor. Oh, awesome! Lost in the jungle with corridor creeper. Very good against rogue. I mean, honestly, very good against almost everything. Hey, Zelex man, welcome to my stream. Glad you like it.
Mm. So what exactly happens with this? Two minions are dying and the dagger takes down one of these. With this only one minion is dying. I think we start with the Lost in the Jungle because we have that Corridor Creeper. And then we might follow... Wow. Okay, I think we definitely follow that up with a weapon. Because it's... Otherwise, it's too many two ones, right? Thank you for the follow, man. Thank you, thank you. Far too kind. The other option is the stone hill here. No, I think I like the weapon the most. Does it really matter if we trade that? What is the punish? Well, the reward is the corridor creeper, so let's let's get the reward, even though I don't see the punish. <clears throat> yeah, it's a fairly decent aggro deck. So we get corridor creeper out for free. I like. And then we probably take Hero Power plus the Righteous Protector. I don't like the Stone Hill Defender that much. I could take the Archon Squire, but the Archon Squire. Uh, I think I prefer the Righteous Protector here. And I probably one of them want to position them like this, so if he doesn't attack. Well, no, it, it doesn't really matter, right? We don't have 5 mana and we don't have the Fungal Mancer, so I don't think minion positioning on this turn is ever gonna be important. Ooh! Seriously? Then how do we Divine Shield minions around? Who plays that card? God damn it. That's a hard counter to my Corridor Creeper then. And obviously the Divine Shield guy. So it seems like next turn he wants to have a dagger. Oh, or this turn he wants to kill my guys. That's quite tough. Ooh, Blessing of Might is nice though. Tearing, right? And we might also be able to deal with this one. Since we have the Tarim, I think this turn we want to play the Divine Shield, dude. And next turn we go for Lost in the Jungle, Hero Power, Blessing of Might. That looks like a good curve. We might buff that uh, Divine Shield minion to kill the... To kill whatever he has. Okay, to kill the rest of the 6-6. Six, six. Mm, oh, we have the silence as well. Hmm. No, but I just like killing that while I can. I think he takes 4, four damage here anyways. And now he needs Fen of Knives, right? That's not that easy. Most odd rogues don't run it, but he runs Blood Knight, right? Who knows? Would be whoa. It would be weird, yes, but now a fledgling? Okay, not a fledgling at least. Cold blood? Cold blood. So we silence that dude. The light protects me. Hmm. Ooh, righteous protector is pretty awesome. Fits the curve quite well. Don't think Silence ever gets better. He might have Fungal Mancer here, but then we have Tarim. Mushroom Power? Oh, Silence himself. Not the bad OP. OP Dopey. Does he play around Tarim?
Wow, he plays around Terim. Hopefully we get a one drop. We do get a one drop, just not a good one. Mm. I think Terim next turn is almost always gonna be better, so I'm gonna risk it here. It's only Fungalman's a top deck, right? And then it's roughly the same. If he top decks the Fungal Mensa here. Because we are still getting two 3-3s three from this uh, hero power, it should be alright. Oh, full face plan. Sure. Reporting for duty. Well, it doesn't matter the ordering, does it? Fungal? No, just a uh, white spine. Sure. He goes for the face plan. Well, we have taunt. We do have taunt. Ugh, Baku. That's a dead card. Mm, let's play around the top tech fungal mancer, right? The battle. Little bit. The I like it. Then maybe we can Baku next turn. Fungal mancer is getting more likely here, I think. Diamol. Diamol is not powerful at all. It's a width. Mm, we also kind of width. But he can never deal with this one. Best thing he can actually draw here is his own Baku, right? I think his own Baku is the best thing here. Oh oh. Oh oh. Now we are dead to Leroy. We could use a taunt. It's not a taunt. Mm. We're not playing Leroy this time. He needs one damage point. Wow. It's annoying. But there should be a lot of dead cards in his deck, I think. So we need to taunt or... <laughs> or he top decks Leroy. Darn! I should have won this game. Stupid Blood Knight. Wow. I really should have won this game. Where did I mess it up? <laughs>